guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today I have a very exciting video. It is a BoxyCharm unboxing video. And I know you're probably like, well you post these all the time, how's that exciting? Well this month, I was really only supposed to get a base box because last month was the Luxe Box month. So that means October would just be a base box month. But BoxyCharm sent out an email saying that, you know, surprise, they were sending another box with your base box this month. And it is a collaboration with Tarte. So this is like a Tarte dedicated box. So I'm really excited to open that up. And then we've got the base box as well. So we have two boxes to unbox today. I'm super excited to share with you guys what is in them. September, like I said, was a Lux box month. So I got the base box and the Lux box. And let me tell you, September's Lux box was probably one of my favorite all time boxes. It had the spun gel product in it. It had that really nice Natasha Denona palette. It had so many good things in it that I was so excited about. So I'm really excited to open these up and see if this month lives up to how good last month was. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we'll start with the base box just because that's what I was expecting to open with you guys today. Again, I have avoided all spoilers so I don't know what the theme for this month's box is. And if you are unfamiliar with BoxyCharm, the base box is a monthly subscription box. You get five products per month with this subscription and they range across makeup and skincare, just beauty products. And I have received some of my all time favorite products in these boxes. They are such a good value. You get like name brand good products that you'd be paying far more for if you were buying them a la carte. So here's the base box. It feels quite heavy actually. So it looks like this month's theme is under your spell. It says everyone will be under your spell in here is the card here. The card has what is inside. Let's see. Oh, okay, here we go. So let's see here. I'm already seeing some brands that I haven't tried before, which is so exciting. I love trying new brands. That's one of my favorite things about getting these boxes is discovering brands that I haven't tried before. So that's really exciting. But I will start with this product from a brand that I have used before and I actually discovered them through BoxyCharm before. The brand is Earth Harbor. This is, this is their Celestine Hydro Plumping Peptide Serum. It is seaweed peptides and hyaluronic acid. Here it is here. I haven't tried this particular product from them before, so that's good. I don't remember what products I've tried from them before, but like I know their packaging and I know I like the products, but I don't remember what they were to be completely honest. Oh, look how pretty that is. I've never seen like a skincare product that like looked like that. Kind of reminds me of the ocean. Super cute. It smells like, Oh, I can't figure it out, but it smells good. I don't know if it's safe for pregnancy, so I will have to find that out. Off the bat here, I'm not seeing any products that aren't good for pregnancy, but again, I will just have to do some research on that. So it says here, the Earth Harbor Natural Celestine Hydro Plumping Peptide Serum. Get that goddess glow by hydrating and replenishing skin with eight juicy botanical hydrators, including three molecular weights of plant-based hyaluronic acid for effectively filling each layer of skin. And it's worth $45. $45 is a bit pricey for a serum, but if it's good and it works, then I mean, Go for it. Also bear with me, I'm gonna be in my third trimester next week and let me tell you that like I am so short of breath. My nose is stuffy. I'm like huffing and puffing here, but we're gonna get through this. Okay, next we have another brand that I have tried from BoxyCharm before and I loved it. I believe what I used was a lip scrub from them before, but it is the brand Dew of the Gods. Here it is here. This is their Tahitian breakfast. It is a dewy collagen face primer. I love their packaging. How cute. So I don't know if collagen is something that I can use while pregnant, but I mean, I only have a few months left, so I will try it afterwards. I love trying different primers because I'm very picky with my primers. So we'll have to see. If anybody has tried this primer before, please leave a comment and let me know what you think think I'd love to hear. So here's the packaging here. Again, super cute. Love it. Let's see what it says. It says here, Dew of the Gods Tahitian Breakfast Dewy Collagen Primer. 
Breakfast of Champions in the Tropics hits different. Think of this as your skin's morning collagen smoothie with plant and fruit extracts blended into a dewy milky serum to tone and prime your skin for the next stage of your routine. Build the perfect base for your makeup to glide over or bask in the glass skin glow that lasts all day long and is worth $32. Okay, next there is a product here from a brand that I haven't tried before. The brand is called Toy Factory. So here it is here. And what is this? Let us see. This is Toy Factory Super Set. So this is setting, yes, a hyaluronic acid setting spray. That is phenomenal timing because I am in need of a new setting spray because I am running out of all mine. I was using the um, Fenty Beauty Make It Do. Make It Do? Is that what it was called? the Fenty Beauty um, setting spray. And I loved it, it was so good. I loved that it was like a mist. Um, and then I ran out of that, so then I was using the Anastasia Beverly Hills, maybe that was the Make It Do. No, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set. That's what I'm currently using and I'm almost out of that as well. So again, I haven't heard of this brand before, but I'm interested. So here it is here, quite a big bottle. If you've heard of this brand or used this brand before, let me know. I am like in their packaging now. And it says here, the Toy Factory Super Set Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray. Your serum and setting spray are now one and that you look and that look you just created is about to last all day, all night. Featuring hyaluronic acid to lock in your color payoff while coating your skin with a misty serum expertly formulated for all day hydration and a dewy soft professional look. So this is worth $24, which is a pretty good price, and it's a new launch. So it seems as though this is a new product from Toy Factory, so I'm super excited to try that out. I love getting new launches in these boxes. Next, another brand that I haven't heard of before or tried, this some institute sami institute s-o-m-m-e institute and it is says 50 treatment pads on it treatment pads for what and it says here exfoliating without abrasion soft cotton pads infused with mdt5 exfoliate dead cells on skin surface unclogging blocked pores while delivering highly engineered vitamins thus improving resiliency hydration and encouraging cell renewal so it has glycolic acid in it i'm not sure if i can use that while pregnant okay and it has um different retinoids in it so this is something that i will have to wait until after i have the baby to try but i'm curious and, and excited to try it when the time comes very simple packaging here, just the purple dot. And it says here, transport, how to use smooth pad over clean face, neck, and upper chest. Open them up just to see. Oh, it's got a thing on top. I don't wanna open them and dry them out since I won't be using them for another like three months. But if you've tried this out before and have thoughts, again, leave a comment, let me know. But it says here, the Sam Institute Transport Exfoliating Glycolic Acid Pads. Gently exfoliate and treat your skin to take it to a whole new level. Powered by MDT5, these soft saturated cotton pads are designed to help improve skin tone, texture, and clarity with an 8% buffered AHA formula that gently exfoliates dead cells on the skin surface. And they're $65. So I'm assuming this is more of a high-end brand. I don't know, like I said, this is the first time I've heard of them, but $65 is quite a pretty penny, so I have high hopes for this when I can use it. And last is from a brand that I do in fact know and I have received from BoxyCharm quite a number of times and I love them. It is Ciate London, and it looks like we have a palette. It is the Spice Palette. So I haven't, I don't know if I've gotten a Ciate palette from them before. If I have, not an eyeshadow palette, I don't believe. Here it is here. Super cute, let's see. Oh, okay, so these are some nice neutral shades that have warm tones that I would definitely use. Like this is my color story right here. Like sometimes I'll get um, eyeshadow palettes that are like very bright and bold and that's not necessarily my uh, color story there, but I love this. Let me swatch one just to see what it's like. Swatch this gold one here, which is called Warm Spice. Like a shimmery gold. So there it is there on my finger, very shimmery. Ooh, that's really nice. Very pigmented, very shimmery, super cute, love it. 
So it says here the Ciate London Spice Palette, a blend of highly pigmented metallics and mattes that work seamlessly with neutral mattes to add an epic spice to any makeup look. It's worth $39 and this is also a new launch. So this box had two new launches in it. I actually think this is great timing for this palette. Obviously this was made as a fall palette being called the Spice Palette and some of the shades are Pumpkin Soup, Warm Spice, Cranberry, Pine Cone, Apple Pie, Hot Amber, Moonlit, Acorn, and Raincoat. So obviously this is a fall palette but I think these colors are great because I can totally see myself using these colors with the sweaters I have for fall and for Halloween and I just really like this. So that is everything in the base box here. It seems like we were a little, um, no, I guess it was kind of even makeup and skincare. I don't know, but in any case, I'm quite impressed. Let me add it up and I'll let you know the value of this box. Okay, so the value of this box is $205, which is a very good value for this box. I believe that is on like the higher end for the average of what the base box normally is. But in any case, what you're paying for this box is obviously nowhere near what you got in this box if you were to buy these products a la carte. I think, again, this was a really good month. I really like what was in this box. I'm really excited to try these products. I know some of them I can't try for another few months still, but I will be holding on until I can try them because I'm very excited about them. Okay, so like I said, that was the base box for October. And then we have the BoxyCharm and Tarte collaboration box. So let's see what is in here. I'm excited. I believe I got, or no, the one I got before is a BoxyCharm and Anastasia Beverly Hills box. Sometimes they do collaborations with brands to promote their products. So I am assuming that Tarte is the one that they're, you know, working with lately. So here is here, it says Tarte High Performance Naturals. It says Tarte is celebrating 20 plus years of female founded, cruelty free formulas infused with good for you ingredients and kindness. So here it is here. Then here is what we got in here. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five. And then there's something underneath. Six products in here. So that six products is what you would get in the um, premium box if you subscribe to the premium box, which is also a monthly subscription as well. So we will start with the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. I guess this is a moisturizer, I'm assuming. So here it is here. I've used the um, H2O like eye cream before, I love that. So here is this, let's see. I'm more of like a Tarte makeup kind of person than Tarte skincare, but the skincare that I have used from them has been quite good. Mmm, smells good. It's, it's like a very light smell. So it's like a, a gel kind of. Uh, consistency that I now have all over my hands. So I'm pretty sure this is like a very popular product with them as well, if I recall seeing this on the bestsellers part of their website. But it says here, drink of H2O hydrating boost moisturizer. Wake up to the cooling sensation of this vegan daily gel moisturizer. Powered by electrolytes, it deeply hydrates for healthful, youthful glow healthy youthful glow while helping soften and plump the skin's appearance. Keep skin moisturized for 24 hours with this lightweight, non-greasy, water-based gel formula. It's worth $39. So as far as Tarte goes for the like prices, they're kind of, I mean, they're more than like a drugstore brand. They're kind of like, I wouldn't call them a luxury brand, but they're, what is the word that I'm looking for? They're like kind of on par with like Urban Decay, Too Faced, Anastasia Beverly Hills, like that kind of grouping of products. Okay, next we have the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. This, I actually have used this before, I believe. Um, I think it was just in like a different like little covering here, but I really liked the mascara that I used from them before. They come in like these like leathery pouches, which is kind of cool, but I do really love their mascara. And it says here, the Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. This best-selling mascara is like a push-up bra for your lashes. It volumizes, lengthens, and curls lashes for an instant eye lift while delivering 24-hour flake-free and smudge-proof wear. Plus, the vitamin-rich formula conditions with each coat, all while creating darker and more defined lashes. So again, I do actually really like this mascara. I highly recommend this if you're in the market for some new mascara. Okay, next is a product I haven't tried before. This is the Awake by Tarte Sunshine Stick Illuminator. So here it is here. So that is a highlighter. Let's see, I love the like stick cream highlighters lately. I got one last month in last month's BoxyCharm box. It was a Wander Beauty one and the one side was highlighter, the other side was blush. I actually used that today. You can see it on the camera. But in any case, I really like that. So hopefully this is similar. 
Merit Beauty also has a really good um, highlighter. Here is here. And just push it up. Let's see. Oh, okay. So it's like a very subtle glow, if you could see it there. It's more, I wouldn't call this, I mean, illuminator is a good word. It's not like kind of like a highlighter where it makes you look sweaty. It just is kind of like a nice, like dewy look, which I like a lot, actually. Some of the highlighters make you look sweaty. Okay, so it says Awake Sunshine Stick Illuminator. Swipe on sunshine with this lit from within glow in a stick. This vegan multitasking stick instantly brightens, blurs, and wakes up tired under eyes. Micronized pearls reflect light to blur imperfections and create natural luminosity. While a cooling sensation reinvigorates the skin and helps to soothe and reduce the look of puffiness and dark circles. And it is worth $25. I definitely felt the cooling effects when I put it on my hand. Um, this is awesome because I have not been sleeping lately and I have some dark circles under my eyes. So I'm excited to try this under my eyes. Okay, next we have the Double Take Awake Micro Liquid Liner and Brightener Micro Eyeliner. Okay, so here this is here. It looks like a double-sided eyeliner. It says ultra precise micro liquid liner and an inner rim gel. Okay, so you have the eyeliner and then what you could put in, you know, the middle of your eye to make yourself look awake. Can you put it on your waterline? I don't know. Let's see. It says ophthalmologist tested all day long wear and waterproof. So I am iffy about waterproof stuff just because it's so hard to get off. But there's the liquid liner, which is a nice, you know, liner. And then you've got the other side here. Let's see. Okay, so kind of like reminds me of like a concealer sort of. And it says here, double take awake micro liquid liner and brightener. Infused with mineral pigments and clay for all day wear, the rich black liquid liner and creamy matte universal neutral gel liner in this two-in-one product combine to create bigger, brighter, more defined eyes. The micro felt tip liquid liner hugs the curves of the lash line, applying pigment smoothly without skipping while the creamy gel eyeliner instantly brightens eyes to fake a full night's sleep. Definitely need that. And this is also worth $25. So I feel like I could combine these three things and like make myself look a little bit more alive lately. Okay, next we have one of their best sellers. It is the, Mar I can't pronounce it, Maracuja Juicy Lip. I see this all over the place, but I haven't yet tried it. This is the shade Rose. I'm excited to try this actually. So here is the product here, let's see. Okay, so I just gotta keep pressing it for it to come up. Hmm, it's, let me tell you, it's very juicy actually. <laughs> Let's see, do we like the shade? I like it, it's kind of like a, a nude shade or a neutral shade. I just wiped my hair across it, which probably just wiped it across my face. Now I don't have any foundation on today, I just have um, a sunscreen, like a tinted sunscreen on admittedly because foundation just was not in the cards for me today. So I'm kind of a little pale. I am looking a little rough, but in any case, I still think that the, the lip shade's not too bad. I like this. I think this will look really good with full face of makeup. And like I said, it's very hydrating feeling, but not sticky. It says here, the Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm. Get that cushiony pout that you've always dreamt of with this all-in-one vegan balm gloss color and treatment. Features 10 plus antioxidant rich fruits to smooth and nourish and cushion comfort complex to instantly plump and smooth the appearance of pesky lip lines. This mirror shine formula is always comfortable, never sticky and smells like coconut. It does smell like coconut and it is in fact not sticky. So I approve. And then the last product we have here is a palette. This is their Sunrise Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette. Here we are here. Here is the palette. A nice and neutral shade palette. Again, these are definitely in my color wheel because I like a good neutral palette. I'm going to swatch the shade Element, which is this one up here. There is there. Now I will say that the Ciate palette um, seemed a little more creamy than this one. This one seemed a little chalky, but nonetheless, the color does look good. I think this will be easy to blend. I don't know, I'll have to try it out on my eyes. It does feel a little chalky, but I think that could also be because of the shade that I swatched. To be fair, I feel like I should swatch a like glitter, like a metallic shade. 
Okay, yeah, so the shade Vivid, which is this one here, does feel a lot creamier than the matte, which I think is pretty, you know, standard for any palette. That came out good as well, if you can see that. It's like a nice, subtle shimmer. So that is everything in the Tarte box, and now that I'm super out of breath, let me add up the amount of that as well. The total value of this box was 164, which is a pretty good deal. Like I said, the Tarte like price range kind of is on par with like Urban Decay, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Too Faced, like that kind of like level of products. I can't like the name is escaping me. Like I don't know. It's not a value. It's not a drugstore. It's not a luxury. The, the word is escaping me. But in any case, $164 for six products, I think is a really good deal, especially if you consider what you pay for the subscription for these boxes. Um, I'm so grateful to BoxyCharm for sending me this Tarte box because Tarte is actually a brand that, you know, everybody knows and loves, but I feel like I haven't tried as many Tarte products as I would have liked in the past. Um, I did for the longest time swear by Shape Tape. I loved that concealer. It was all I ever used. Um, the Maneater mascara I loved. Um, there was, um, I think it was a Maneater lip color, I think, that I liked as well. There's been quite a few Tarte products that I really liked in the past, um, but I really have been wanting to try more Tarte products, so I'm really excited to be able to do so now. So as always, if you have any questions about BoxyCharm or want to know more about BoxyCharm, I will leave a link in the description down below to a blog post with more information. I also have a link down there for you to subscribe to BoxyCharm yourself so you could get a subscription box at your doorstep each month as well. It's so exciting getting these boxes each month because it's like a surprise. And as always, I'm so grateful to BoxyCharm for sending me these boxes each month to share with you guys because really like, I, it's just, it's so exciting for me. If there are any other subscription boxes out there that you would like to see unboxed, please let me know and I will try and get my hands on them. And if you don't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the bell, make sure you set on notifications so you know whenever I post, I do post a lot of YouTube shorts with some pop culture news and some other fun stuff that you can check those out as well. And make sure you follow me on social media. I will leave links to every one of my social media platforms in the description down below as well. Until next time, see you guys.